Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today is part two of is it a company or is it a person? I don't know. Let's go check. <laughs> We're going to discuss how to display the company or person name with a little bit of uh, query action and some functions and some other funny parts. So in yesterday's video, we did this where we made a little report showing either the company or the person just by simply using can shrink. Well, what if you want it to be a little more professional? So today we're going to learn how to do it with a query, some calculated fields and a few other things. Let's talk about the prerequisites first. We are going to use calculated fields today. So if you've never used this both in a report and in a query, so go watch this video if you haven't done that before. You should know how to use string concatenation. That's putting two string fields together. And also, as a side note, go watch my video on null math. And I'll explain why in a little bit, but this is a pretty good one. Speaking of null, you should know what null is and how to check for null values with the is null function. So go watch this. And finally, we're going to bring it all together with the if function. If, right? I, I, F. Yes, I'm silly when I say if, but it's so you remember it because a whole bunch of times I get people sending me emails wondering why it's not working and they did I, F, F. It's not if, 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 it's not Silence of the Lambs, right? If, 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 with fava beans. It's if, and me being silly will hopefully let you remember that. Okay, go watch all these videos if you haven't yet. They're on my website, they're on my YouTube channel, they're all free, and then come on back. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is create a query that's going to have the fields we want in the report in it, and we're going to make a calculated field that says, hey, if I've got a company name, I want to see the company name as who it's who this statement's prepared for. If there is no company name, use the person's name. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go to create query design. I'm going to bring in my customer table and then bring in just the fields that you want on the report. If you want the ID, great, bring it in. If not, I just need first name, last name, company name, and we'll just do address. Okay. Now over here, we're going to make a calculated field called prepared for. Who is this statement prepared for? I'm going to zoom in so you can see it better. That's shift F2 to open up a zoom window, bigger text, right? We'll call this prepared for colon. All right, I'm going to use the if function. So if, what's the first thing I'm checking for? Well, if the company name is null, so I'm going to use if is null company name. Okay, now comma. What is the value to use if that's true? If the company name is null, then I want to use the person's name. So here I'll put first name and a space and last name, comma. What's the condition if it's false? Well, if the company name is not null, then I want to see the company name, right? All right, so company name. And that's it, All right? Three parts to my if function. What's the condition? This will return a true or false, right? Is null company name. If that's true, if there is no company name, then give me first name and last name. Otherwise, I want that company name. All right, hit OK. Let's save this as my customer queue, customer query. And now when I run it, there you go. There's your prepared for right over here, right? I got a company name for these four fields. So they could see the company name over here. And if not, I got the person's name. Now, if they're both blank, I don't know what to tell you. You could do a nested if function with another level and say, you know, if both of those things are in all, then give me the customer ID and say, you know, statement prepared for customer 14 or whatever you want to see that. But we're just going to assume you've got either the first name, last name, or the company name. Okay. And if anyone wants to see that third option, I've got videos on my website for nested ifs. Here's a video where I show nested ifs, for example, I'll put a link to this down below. So now that we got this set up, now we can use this as the record source for our report. So close this, save changes, yes. Let's go back to our customer report, design view, go up to the reports properties. Let's go to the data tab, change customer T to customer Q, that query we just built. Okay, close that. 
And I'm going to get rid of these extra sections in here. We don't need that space in there right now. Just clean this up a little bit. And let's slide these fields down just a touch right about there. Now, if you open up add existing fields, you will see there's that prepared for right there. We can drag that over here. And for its label, let's say statement prepared for. Slide that over a little bit right about there. Let's grab this and slide you over right about there so it fits nicely. There we go. Uh, let's make this a little bit bigger. This comes in as gray. I hate that. Let's go to format and change this to black. All right. And now save it and let's print preview. And there you go. Statement prepared for Amicron, for Enterprise, for Beta Z, for William Riker, for Malcolm Reynolds. See that? It gives you the company name. If it has it, if not, it gives you the person's name. And if it's got both, it gives you the company name. See that? But, oh no, we're not done yet. Let's make this look a little better. First of all, let's turn these borders off. I know I wanted to keep them on here for a little bit so we could just see them there, but let's go back to design view. All right, I'm going to select everybody. Go to format, go to shape outline, and pick transparent. That way we don't have to see those borders anymore. Because you wouldn't see those on a printed report. Okay, now let's bring this stuff together instead of having these two fields, just like the, the first and last name. I hate that. That looks dumb. Let's bring them together, right? Let's use a little string concatenation here. So I'm going to get rid of that label. Slide you over. Maybe bold it, right? Come here. All right, let's bring up its properties. I'm going to close the field list, open up the property sheet, click on that guy. And what we're going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to make this a calculated field. So I'm going to change the control source, but I'm also going to change the name, all right? Because... I only want the name to be the same if it's exactly bound to that control source, if it's the same thing, right? I'm going to change it. So we're going to call this prepared for text, TXT, because now I'm going to change this control source. Shift F2, zoom in, equals statement prepared for, and then prepared for. And that's a field name. Okay. There we go. And now if we look at it, save it and preview it and look at that it looks a lot better right it's like right next to each other let's do the same thing for first and last name delete last name let's make first name bigger okay click on it i'm going to change this to let's call this person name you don't want it to be the same and this is now going to be equals whoops equals first name and a space and last name Hit OK. Let's save it and preview it. OK, looks good. See, looks good. And oh, wait a minute. I'm still getting that blank line there. Why is the can shrink not working? Well, because what's actually in there? There's a space there. A space is not null, is it? Now, there's a couple things you could do. You could trim this whole thing. All right, let's do this. Say trim like that. Trim gets rid of leading and trailing spaces. And if this is blank and that's blank, then you're just going to be left with a space in there. Let's see if that works. Save it. Preview it. And okay, look, that worked fine. That's one way to do it. Another way is to use that null math that I mentioned earlier. Instead of using the trim function, if we know that if you add anything to a null value, the result is null, then you could do this too. Put a plus there and a plus there. What this is saying is take the first name, add it to a space. Well, if the first name is null, then the result of this is null. And then if you add another whatever it is to it, null plus anything becomes null. So this whole thing becomes null then if either one of those fields is blank. All right, and if you do it now, same results. I kind of like, now that I'm thinking about it, I, I really like the null math row out of this, but I, I kind of like the trim option better because this way, if you just have one of those things, you'll get it in there like this, right? It'll either say just Richard or just Ross. That's better, I think, than having a whole null field there. But either way works, whatever you want, you know, whatever works for you. So now you got your prepared for and then you got your address down below it.
And now you can use this customer query, where are you, this guy, for anything else too. You could use it as a calculated field in the form or whatever, whatever you like. It's up to, totally up to you. I just show you the Legos and you can put them on together however you want. If you like learning with me, if you like to get some learning done and you like my style and you have fun, well, I got tons and tons of lessons on my website. This is the kind of stuff, this null stuff with the functions and the, all that. Uh, these are covered in my expert lessons. It's beyond the basics. It's not just building simple forms and doing some formatting. It's, it's working with functions, formulas, if function, that kind of stuff. Uh, if you like all those functions in Excel, you'll love these lessons. I cover all the date time functions and the, yes, okay, you name it. It's in my expert lessons. And you don't need programming to build some really great stuff in Microsoft Access. And that's what my expert lessons are all about. But there you go. That's your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. A special thank you and shout out to our Diamond sponsors. First, we have Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions, manufacturing experts specializing in Access and SQL Server. Juan is a 13-time Microsoft Access MVP. You can check them out at accessexperts.com. Another shout out to Sammy Shama from Shama Consultancy. Sammy is a certified Microsoft Office specialist, and he not only offers Access application development, but he also provides one-on-one -on -one tutoring services. So if you need someone to hold your hand and help you with your access project, Sammy is your guy. Check him out at shamaconsultancy.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the video's up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more, and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn Access, and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, Level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, wanna get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, 
and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the Tech Help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.